Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hotly with Shono here, about to give you another WWE Mayhem video. Now, I'd like to thank Jeremy Bowman for the little notification about the WWE Mayhem update on Thursday, December 13th at about 12.15 in the morning while I was finishing up the Feral Ermac challenge on Mortal Kombat X. This came up. The TLC update, more female superstars, more Mayhem. Welcome Natalia, Ember Moon, Ruby Riot, and Lana. Rey Mysterio joins the Mayhem on popular demand. New passive abilities added to all overdriven 2, 3, and 4 star superstars. Super signatures, which are basically the 3 bar moves, now added to all overdriven 2, 3, and 4 star superstars. Don't just steal opponent signatures, but also the abilities that come with it. Do more damage with Smash Kills now replacing shared moves instead of signatures. And new no DQ and shared moves added. So we're going to open up WWE Mayhem, which I thought I had open, but I guess... Okay, so we're going to open up the game. And right away, um, I'd like to point out one thing to the Reliance Games team, that I would like to see a little refresh to the NXT champions. Either two things need to be done. If they're leaving it at 2,500 keys, at least update the case. Like, currently it has a 324 and 73% drop rate. But if it's 2,500 keys, this is not acceptable. It should be, like, 6, 36, and 50-some percent if they're going to do it that route. Because it's just a little unfair. I noticed also on the one-star keys, there is no new characters. In the two-star, um, let's see, we have Ruby Riot, 1,220 health, 127 damage. Ruby riots when the opponent has full energy. We could probably actually look at this from the superstars. That'd be a little bit better. So we're going to look at the women. And currently, as you can see, there are no four-star women in the game. And you actually cannot look at the women from this. So I guess you have to actually look at them in the uh, cases themselves. So we're going to do that. So I have Carmella. Uh, Rey Mysterio at a 2 star, 1160 health, 118 damage. Lana, 1150 health, 117 damage. So her stats are really low for a female. Natalia is a powerhouse, 1230 health, 132 damage. Um, Bailey, Naomi. Ember Moon, 1170 health, 124 damage. You can see the new women pretty much have low stats. Um, those are all the same. Those are all the same. Is Becky Lynch actually added to the case? I don't believe I saw her. Yeah, where is Be Why are Becky Lynch and Nikki Be uh, Brie Bella still not in the case? That's rather weird. Yeah, they're not in that case. In the three-star case. Okay. Ruby Riot, 1,830. Ember Moon, 1,755 health, 186 damage. Rey Mysterio, 1,740 health, 177 damage. Lana, 1,725 health, 176 damage. Natalia, 1,845 health, 198 damage. Um, okay, anything else? Looks like no. Yep, that's it. So there's one male, uh, four new women. They said that there's like seven all together, so there could be more that pop up as limited time events. There is a four-star Rey Mysterio, 3,600 health, 368 damage. Okay, so is there anybody, like, weird that did not show up in the previous case? Looks like they have not updated. Jinder Mahal is in the four-star case, if he was taken out previously. Um, does not look like Rusev is back is in this case, which kind of sucks. Yep, he's not in the case. So in the mystery case... 
Um, they did not actually add it. Nikki Bella, Sasha Banks. Uh, Alexa Bliss, Charlotte Flair. Yeah, so the mystery case has not been updated. So you can't get any of the new women out of that. In the premium case... Drew McIntyre is still in there. Rey Mysterio is in the premium case. So you can get him out of that. Um, as far as the women go... You can get Lana. You can get... Yeah, you can get all the new women in it. You can get Rey Mysterio out of it. So they made him pretty accessible. Um, and as far as the two stars go, for some reason, Brie Bella and Becky Lynch are still not available in cases. I'm really failing to understand that. So in the Icons case, there shouldn't be anybody new. Because Rey Mysterio is probably SmackDown. So it makes sense if he was added in the case. Yep, no new icons. Is there actually a Nikki Bella in here? No. So that's weird. All right, so in the Raw case, Jinder Mahal is in that case as well. Okay. Sami Zayn. Okay, so Natalia is in the Raw case. Ember, uh, Ruby Riot is in the case. Ember Moon is in the Raw case. And Lana would be on SmackDown. Rey Mysterio is not in the case. That's Callisto. Yep, that's fine. SmackDown Live. Does not have Rey Mysterio in the case. Interesting. Lana is in the three star. So what is Rey Mysterio? Is he available to look at on the roster? Let's see if this will show him. Nope. Rey Mysterio does not show up on this, so... You can't actually see a synergy unless you unlock him. Alright, so let's continue data mining some of the cases that we actually have information for. So in the main event case... Yeah, no Rey Mysterio. Rusev is still not in that case. In the Royal Rumble case, Gold Dust is still in there. Other than that, it hasn't been updated. In the Super Premium, it does have Rey Mysterio in it. it does not look like it has Rusev. And the five star still shows as available soon. So in the items cases, that's still not updated. The story is still not updated. The versus case is not updated. And I haven't been doing events, so I shouldn't have any fragments for that. Now, okay, so the daily is not updated either. Which is still pretty weak. And the event case looks to be exactly the same as it was. And then tier 4 basic rank up. 500 out of 18,000. Now, here is my debate for this. There needs to be a way to actually farm tier 4 basic rank up. And I don't know if maybe they should add like a 4th difficulty to set events. Because as of right now, there's only 3. And as you know, you can only get tier 3 technician rank up. So I don't know if they're ever going to be planning on say a legend difficulty. Which has harder content than this. Which maybe would have like five star quality opponents. I mean, maybe that's something that they're thinking about in the future. But um, as far as branched events go, I mean, yeah, the basic layout is generic. It is similar to Marvel Contest of Champions, but why not expand on it? On like legend difficulty or whatever. Why not make it harder to actually get the stuff or whatever? So in the story, the Raw event is coming soon. And just to let you guys know, 1-3 still remains the same. So you can still get 50 gold for completing it. So maybe they feel they they need a way for people to actually farm stuff within the game. I'm not sure. Um, let's check Chapter 4. 
Yep, it's still a two-star case in there, so they didn't mess with that. Now, the one thing that I would like to see Mayhem actually work on is increasing the cash available in the game. And maybe that's why they haven't touched 1 3, is because they know cash is a problem. So until they actually fix the cash, maybe they want you to spend gold on cash loot cases in order to get it. That's my logic behind it. I'm not really sure. Now, also what we're going to be doing is we have 61 two-star cases and I have 23 star cases. I don't think I'm actually going to wait for Becky Lynch because I really do want to try to get Rey Mysterio and the four new women. And I've noticed that... None of the new women, none of the new characters actually show up in Unknown Superstars. And Becky Lynch still shows up here. Now, from what I've heard, is that the reason that some of these characters are unavailable right now is because you have to actually unlock them. Kind of like with uh, Eddie Guerrero, Doink the Clown, Bam Bam Bigelow. And that is why they are purposely not in the loot cases. For example, Becky Lynch and Brie Bella are not loot cases but they're these like super rare characters but let's see if they actually have a second ability now no they do not so what in the world is going on so passive ability locked okay so let's actually look at we'll start with the four stars we'll not do women because there's no women there so let's look at dean ambrose so um passive ability at the start of the match gain stun immune that means immune to stun for the entire match now if i'm not mistaken this also includes the parry mechanic with the short stun so and then there's ability so that's a really powerful passive ability and in the items there's brawler overdrive brawler smash brawler steel and then i don't have a raw shirt so i don't have any four star brawlers i think on shane mcmahon i do have something though i do have an overdrive for him so his ability is debuff Amir. And that's going to be a really powerful one because, for example, um, AJ Styles has signature vulnerability. This will not work. So immune to debuffs for the entire match is going to be really good. Now, I don't know how that will work with low health sets. We could actually test that. So I'm actually going to use this overdrive on Shane McMahon. No one can touch so he's going to gain 24 power, 104 health. And 10 damage so let's for science actually test this out because now it should be available yep it is it's not locked I don't have any skills for him I guess we could open up some skill cases and see maybe if we can get them because we have 11 and let's see if we can get one for Shane so we're gonna open up these skill cases. we're probably gonna get like eight or nine and we get a two a three-star powerhouse so that's cool. So we didn't get a two star there. Let's open up another one. There we get a two star. Kind of lame. Probably a smash go. So let's see what we can get out of these. A two star powerhouse. If I get a showman, I'll definitely put it on Saturday. I haven't gotten one yet. Probably should make a bigger effort to farm skills. Almost got a four-star powerhouse. We get a two-star wild card. I think that's a skill icon. Or for the steel. Okay, more two stars. So we have six more to open up. We get a Technician 2 start Steel Skill. I was hoping to get one for Shane McMahon so I could show that off as well, but unfortunately not. Yeah, this case is going to be super late. We got four more to open up. Another three star powerhouse. They'd only give it out four stars. Does it actually show the drop rate on these? No, of course not. Probably like 2% 4 star. You're supposed to show your drop rates, Alliance Games. That's false advertising. You need to show the drop rates on the skills case. Almost get a 4 star high flyer, but instead we get garbage. 
why make the content hard to get for people? I don't understand. All right, we got a three star, but that's not four star Shade McMahon. Okay, so let's actually check out some of the other overdrives before we test out the whole debuff immune, or yeah, debuff immune, which includes low health stuns. Uh, Bray Wyatt has an overdrive. So the opponent is unable to earn a buff for the entire match. That's pretty good. So I could counteract with that. Now I wonder how that actually works in tag matches. Dolph Ziggler, uh, extra chance for the entire match. What is that? Does that mean you can always kick out at zero health? Interesting one to test out as well. Uh, Xavier Woods. Uh, earn a positive ability at start of match. Interesting. Uh, Sammy Zayn. I'm only doing the ones that I actually have extra chance for the entire match. I'm still curious about that. Exhaustion immune. So if uh, Kev if you're fighting a lot of Kevin Nashes, if you're fighting uh, Dean Ambrose, you can't get uh, exhaustion triggered on you. Uh, let's look at some of the three stars. Now let's actually look at Andre the Giant because I actually have a steel skill for him. I think I, no, I don't. So Just let's equip awesome. that for Andre. So yeah, you can actually up the damage on that. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, we got four overdrives, though, if I want to use them on Andre. So let's look at AJ Styles, for example. Uh, increased chan ch chance of critical by like 50%. That's pretty good. Uh, Dean Ambrose, stun immune for the entire match. Still wonder if that works on Perry. Injury immune, so you can't injure The Undertaker. That's cool. Uh, Miss Bliss, Stun Immune. Ultimate Warrior, Exhaustion Immune. Okay, so let's actually test out some of these abilities. So, is it Shane McMahon? Uh, I think I wanted to test out his. Let's do Xavier Woods, AJ, Cena, Toy AJ. I'm curious about that one. Does it have the same one? No, it looks like toys don't have it. Even if they have overdrive. So toys will not uh, get that effect. It's only two star, three star, four star. So Shane McMahon. Um, debuff immune. So I wonder if it works on the low. Get up! No. Nope. Still fast as hell. Alright, so that was a failed experiment. Get up! Fuck it, still hard to pick up. I thought they said that they fixed the slider. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he's Still super anywhere. hard to kick out of pit. Like that's the third time it was like impossible. Get up! Still super hard anywhere. to kick out of pit. We can test this. Get up! No. He's done. Why is it so hard to kick out of pins at zero health? They made it worse. Finally kicked up. Alright, let's see if the buff goes away. Alright, Dunless kick out again. Alright, there's another kick out. Wow. Alright, so it looks like you can kick out an infinite number of times. Nope. Okay, so it looks like it only gives you one extra time. So, it's not foolproof. So, we tested that mechanic out. Let's see if there's any other, like, interesting mechanics. We know we saw the Shane McMahon thing block a low health stun. Um, let's look at some other passives real quick. Uh, exhaustion immune, not a big deal. Kevin Owens. Injury immune, kind of like Undertaker has. Uh, Shane McMahon we saw. Barry Wyatt we saw. Dolph Ziggler we saw. Xavier we saw. Booker T. Debuff immune, we've seen that one. Finn Balor. Extra chance, so yeah, you can kick out twice, not just once, so that's how that mechanic works. Savage. Wow. 
as if he wasn't already busted enough. Wow, that makes it even better. That means he's going to basically get to a bar before the opponent every time. Fleur gets critical damage. Not bad. Uh, Braun Strowman. Weakness immune. Mm, could be useful if you're fighting a lot of Randy Orton's, I guess. Callisto Exhaustion Immune. Triple H. Weakness Immune. Razor Ramon unable to earn a buff for the... Ooh. Okay, so how would this work on somebody that is immune to debuffs? So let's take... Who was immune to debuffs? Was it Kevin Owens? That wasn't Dean Ambrose. I don't think it was Ultimate Warrior Exhaustion Immune. Injury. Alright, so let's actually test out Razor Ramon in Versus. We gotta go to 3 star. Let's use the most garbage 2 star we have. Let's see if we can refresh until we can get something that resembles that. Alright, there's not Macho Man with the momentum. Let's test that. So let's see if by theory, Macho Man does not get the momentum. Yep, buffs the move. And he can't gain a buff, so no critical damage for him with the uh, diving elbow drop. So that's a big deal. And that also means that he's not going to be able to heal on charge, too. Look at this. Did he really so that could make that? Razor Ramon a lot more oh useful. Because if he can't reverse. heal on charge, that's oh going to take out goodness. some of the game mechanics. Oh, Don't sleep on this ability. I think it's going to be really good. Look at this. Because if he can't heal... That could take out some of his offense. It's pandemonium in Ability the ring. stop. Yep. Uh -oh. we know what's so that proves that the uh, immunity to debuffs blocks out uh, low health stuns as well. From the top rope. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. That's how I think he tried tagging uh -oh. out. We know what's coming. Let him take out to the next one. Look at this! Oh, Alright, so yeah, if it says the Billy stop. Wait, where does the buff of him go? Unbelievable! Okay. Wait a minute. Design. Can he heal now? Yup. So tagging out does not actually stop the buff. So there is a weakness to it. You can tag out Look at this. if you have the buff immune oh, and no. get rid of it. No, no, no! So that's some really good information. So if you're going up against a razor of Ultimate that has debuff immune, it's me, poetry in motion. Yeah, I it's gonna block this. out Macho Man's uh, momentum. But Denied. yeah, they really made pins harder at zero. Uh oh, they are we like way harder coming. than they used to be. Switcheroo! That was still parried decently, dodging back. So not all is lost. Look at this! Bam! Unbelievable! And kick out again at zero. And again we failed. Unbelievable! So, did they really make it easier? I think they made it harder. Oh, we know what's coming. So we're able to reverse that, and yeah. Oh my God! Double reverse. I think it's gonna annoy. I think this update's gonna annoy some people because not only did they make it harder to kick out a pin at zero. They made it harder to pin people at zero. Oh, that's it. He's done. Now, the only other thing we can test is like a low health pin. I think the only way we can properly do that is against like a strong opponent and a weak opponent. So, we're going to bring out our Macho Man. And we're going to bring out one of the, one of the lower characters. So, 
Let's actually go into the uh, superstar of the day. It's a triple tag match, so that's going to suck even worse. So let's break out Drew McIntyre, Carl Anderson. So these guys are pretty weak. All right, so one or two grabs should actually get them low. And then we can test out pins at low health using the weaker guys. I think they have something to say to these superstars. Razor Moon's down already. Oh, that was brutal. Look He's going to want to tag out. Look at this. And they make the tag. Yeah, I just smack Kevin Owens. Yeah. All right, so we got Kevin Owens down. Uh-oh. We know what's coming. Right, let's see Undertaker the next. Tag. So if you guys want to reverse a tag out on me, be my guest. Right, Undertaker oh, tagged out. We know what's coming. So it's Kevin Owens. Get him down a little. There he is. Okay, so let's... Look at this. Okay, he tagged out. Good decision to tag out. Did not reverse a tag, smart man. So there's Drew this. McIntyre. I think he just wasted a one bar. Look that frees us to grab, so we're gonna do a one bar reversal. He just this guy's not gonna do much reverse. damage to Razor Moon, so let's check how the pins are at lower health. Oh my, beyond belief! Oh, a loss now would be catastrophic! A little better, not really. Not this time. I don't think they did anything to it. Let's see from here now. Bam! Too much pain for one man. Okay. That looks a little better. Let's fail on purpose. We probably want to tag out. Uh oh. We know what's coming. Coming on. Oh, Undertaker. Ouch! Stop. Oh, special stopped. Look at this. Did not get to one bar. Bam! Excruciating pain. <laughs> I've seen it all tonight. That seems a oh, little better. Bar. Overall. Okay, we're at one bar. <laughs> For Pete's sake! Quick reverse! Did reverse it. Is it gonna put him he at just zero? Reversed the reversal. No, he double reversed it because it's single. Double okay. the fun. Ooh, wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. Find yourself in a hole. So can I hit Kevin Owens and double. not put him we at zero? We know what's coming. Yes. Oh, that'll leave a mark. I think I can do it one more time. Yeah, they definitely made the pins a little bit bigger. See if we can land one more try. Are you for real? He's going to be able to reverse now, so that kind of sucks. Now he can't. Look at this. Is this going to put him at zero? Bam. Yes, it does. Because oh, we slapped for him. One man. Okay, so it looks like the opponent does still have pins that don't trigger at zero. But it does look like outside of zero health pins, they did widen it a little bit. So we'll have to see. But zero health pins seem worse. Under zero health seemed better. So we'll have to see on that. Um, tune in to future videos. I will be opening up some cases to try to get Lana, uh, Natalia, Ember Moon, Rey Mysterio. I, however, will not be opening up four-star cases until they actually put women in it. So if you like this video on the TLC update, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other WWE Mayhem videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show on my Instagram, which is Hollywood Show Knows God, and have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show Now. Subscribe, bitches!